Yeah. Hiya. Hi. Wow. Now oh, that is a smile. Does this Cheshire cat know you've got it? Don't think so. I'm here to see Jessica Harrison. Hurry up, woman! Sorry! Sorry! Didn't. Hold this brass. This is a snake, a ginger snake. You see the hell away from him. Well, I don't think he's that bad. We're not going to date him. Turn four for getting off of them at Christmas. No, but he said nice things. Try this. What is it? Tennis rocking. No way. Live a little, Thelmer. gonna listen to you again. I'm back on in. Four hours. Do you ever think about getting married? Not at this moment in time. But I've been known to. Kids? Yeah, I guess, someday. I think what puts me off a bit is my mum and dad. I don't think they were happy. I think they stayed together for the wrong reasons, and I don't ever want to get into that situation. What about you? Not much point in me thinking about kids. Why not? The volume of drugs, plus the occasional doubles with bulimia, plus two abortions in my teens has put a stop to that idea. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'd much rather drive across America with you then I have to wake up every two hours to clamp a brat on me tits. <laughs> it's scary. It won't be when we're there. Here. A pebble. Um, thanks. <laughs> that pebble was picked up on Brighton Beach in 1984. The best holiday ever. And whenever I got scared, I'd hold it. You need it more than me. We're not going to kiss, are we? Well, I'm game if you are. <laughs> <gasps> the music's too loud. Oh, behave. <sighs> Hello? Speak of the devil and they are sure to come. Well, it's awfully delightful in here. Hello, ma'am. There are parts of my church less dingy than this. You got it wrong. You're very pretty, do you know that? Even like this. Oi! Sorry? You doctors wind me up. There was a guy at St James's who got banged off for diddling with the coma patients. Oh, hang, hang on a second. What on earth are you suggesting? Shame on you, mucky man. This is my wife. Really? Yes, really. I'm Linda. We work together in paediatrics. Oh, my Lord. Are you gorgeous? Eat up, girls. Don't normally eat breakfast. Or dinner. Or tea, by the looks of you. Don't, ma'am. You and your dad are like appetite of a crustacean. I eat fine. Oh, it's the vanity of our culture. We for thin models, wherever you look. Chic, they call it. Ask me what I call it. What do you call it? The shackling of women. Men can't trap them in the house anymore, so they trap them in their bodies. 
God gave us a body so we could praise him and raise children, not starve ourselves. What about fasting? What about you not being too ill to be smacked on the legs? <laughs> How are things for you? OK, I suppose. I like the work, I've got good friends. Very good friends. In fact, I might travel this summer. Go to America with Linda. Zigzagging. I am not. Never driving forward. Always just going where the tide takes you. We can't all be like you, ma'am. God only made a few people that strong, otherwise we'd all be arguing all the time. So, I was told yesterday I've got six months left. Till when? Till I... sit at his side. Mr. Thelioma. Grandad worked in an asbestos factory. Sorry. What are you saying? Can you guess what my next big crusade is going to be? Mum. Those factory owners. They knew the risks. And once again, the working classes are expendable. Mum. Sit down, Jess. Don't be melodramatic. I will make it longer than six months. I absolutely guarantee it. So, if you could see your way clear to providing me with some grandchildren anytime soon. It would be much appreciated. Jessica! Jessica! Did you see that? Uh, yeah, it, uh, it happens. Is she having bad dreams? Wish we knew. I was passing through. I thought I'd come and see if she was still at Holby. Got some news for her. Off you pop, Mr. Truman. Certainly, Mr. Evans. And where's she going? Uh, they're operating. Listen, I'm just going to grab a quick cuff. OK. Let's have a little look in your ear, darling. So she doesn't talk much. Well, the teachers are going to love you at school, aren't they? Um, Dr. Wachowski should be along shortly, but she seems fine now. Great. OK. See you soon, sweetheart. How are you feeling, soldier? I feel like throttling you. I'm bad and fun. Sorry about your mum. Thanks. Why is the father so jumpy? Is he? Didn't notice. We should go out again tonight, really. It's the best thing. No way. Can you get the stepdad out of the examination room for me, please? Possible NAI. Accident prone, but worth checking while she's here. Really? Her dad seemed nice. She'll need a full skettle survey and we'll need to check with paediatrics and talk to the social. Vince doesn't always have the answers. Well, no, absolutely not. <clears throat> I mean, there's a report of people remembering conversations that happened on the bed, aren't there? People seeing things that they, they couldn't have been party to. Reliving moments. And medical staff still encourage relatives to play favourite songs, to tape messages to loved ones. Well, they wouldn't do that if they believed entirely in science. Well, they think it helps the relatives. I'm going out with them again. Are you mental? It was lovely. It was a gentleman. And you're being rude. Uh, isn't it rude to bail on a friend? I'm sorry, Linda, but Sean can't do any other night this week. Oh, well, let's just drop everything then. And Jess, blow a mouse. We're Thelma and Louise, aren't we? But don't they both die at the end? What a blast, though. Not a whimper. Hello. Sorry to disturb you at work, but we had to come in and thank you. <laughs> Alana keeps drawing a picture. Oh, and she's brought you some flowers. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's beautiful, Alana. It's really good. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Come on, Alana. Bye-bye. Do you know her well? Better than she knew herself. 
Would you say she's someone to hide away from her problems? Do you think that's what she's doing? Oh, I... I'm so out of character to the Jessica I know. Well, she was a bit shown. The question sort of answers itself. Yeah, I... I don't know. Everything that's happened between us, all our ups and downs, I, I've always been able to understand her. I've always been able to see it as Jessica, but... She had... A husband, she had two kids, she went out of the pool. Did you ever ask her why? Coming back. What's the plan? It's not too late if you want to come. I have Amelia. I like how you didn't mention Sean as a reason to not go. Very promising. I'm happy. Yeah? You look it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Thank you, girls. <laughs> oh, come on, Jess. We'll start in New York, go deep south for some gravy and biscuit. Then Las Vegas, bag ourselves a couple of rich guys. I'm pregnant. Well, if you don't want it, there's always a trip to the clinic. I'm not you. No blow, Jess. You're supposed to be my friend, and you're suggesting that I abandon my husband and kill my baby. Don't stop making out like I'm the miserable one. I'm all right, me. I know you. Not since you've been with him, you don't. Thanks for coming. It was a fair bit wilder back then. So what changed? America wasn't what I'd hoped. So I flew out to Thailand and Goa. Became a bit of a hippie. Started living right. Voluntary work. Clean system. That sort of thing. Karma. I wonder what we did wrong. She'll be fine, Adam. Think positively. I wasn't referring to Jessica. I had a son. Nothing anyone could do. It's a travesty when you're surrounded by medics and there's nothing anyone can do. I, uh... I told her about Harry on the tape. I don't know if she heard. You poor thing. She's not even trying. She clearly can fight, though. She left Sean. She got the kids back. She's a mother. It's what she lives for. Dr. Truman, let's see if we can't get your wife back. I'm going to skip this bit, if you don't mind. No, of course. Oh, hello, sweet and goodness. She is gorgeous. She said I was a cheddar cat. So? So? I mean... Well, I saw her first. No offence, boys, but you've got more chance of getting off with me. Yeah. <laughs> She's coming over. <clears throat> Hello, fellas. Oh, oh, hi. Hi. How's, um, how's Jessica doing? They're cutting her head open and doing things to her brain. And I have to make a very difficult decision. Somebody needs a cuddle. I want to live in a world where people can do this wherever and with whoever they want. That sounds wonderful. Yeah, I, I like a society where people are really in touch with their emotion. Oh, yes. How open-minded are you? Breathe in, breathe out. 
Breathe out. In. Out. Thank you, gents. I think I know what I should do. I'm You feel as if nothing is ever going to happen again. At any rate, that was how it felt to these two. He's a lovely man. Hours and hours seem to go by in this dead calm. They Can hardly you notice. Walk me to the lift. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, listen, do you want to leave me your number and I'll contact you if anything changes? No. No? Thanks. I I want you to promise me something. Just say okay. You don't tell her I was here. You came looking for her. You wanted to tell her something. I know. But tell me what it is. I'll tell her. No. Then was it something that I said? I mean, she needs her friends around her right now. She doesn't need me. Give her this. Tell her someone posted it. It's nice to meet you, Adam. I'm really glad she chose you.